Good evening. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the governments of the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic and the World Intellectual Property Organization, it is my great pleasure to wish you all a warm welcome to the celebration of the 100 years of Czechoslovakia. We are honored to be joined by the representatives of the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic, His Excellency Ambassador Jan Kara, permanent representative of the Czech Republic to the United Nations Office in Geneva, His Excellency Ambassador Juraj Podhorsky, permanent representative of the Slovak Republic to the United Nations Office in Geneva, His Excellency Ambassador Peter Brneo, permanent representative of the Slovak Republic to the World Trade Organization, and the Director General of the World Intellectual Property Organization, Mr. Francis Gurry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to invite Director General Gurry to take the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Uma. Uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Jan Kara, Your Excellency Ambassador Juraj Podorsky, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's really a privilege for the World Intellectual Property Organization to host tonight this great celebration of 100 years of uh, Czechoslovakia. Um, and for me personally, it's a great privilege to be able to just say a very few words of welcome to you all. We're delighted to see so many of you here tonight. Uh, this is an occasion for us to really to enjoy some of the intellectual property of the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic. Uh, some of the, the extraordinary artistic talent that exists in these two countries. Uh, and to celebrate uh, 100 years of really uh, extraordinary achievement in so many areas. We all talk a lot these days about artificial intelligence and robotics, but of course it's from the Czech Republic uh, or to the Czech Republic that we owe the word robotics uh, and to the great Czech science fiction writer. Uh, so extraordinary contributions. We're very much looking forward to the celebration tonight. We will have uh, the opportunity to hear the musical uh, talents of uh, the Czech Republic and Slovak Republic and also to enjoy the reception. I wish you all a very excellent evening and I thank the two ambassadors for all of the support that they give to the World Intellectual Property Organization and we're delighted to have you here this tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Director General. I now have the honor to invite His Excellency Ambassador Podhorsky to take the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Director General, dear Francis. Thank you very much uh, for your kind words of welcome and thank you for hosting us today, this evening. It's something special for us and thank you very much for that, uh, dear Jan. Excellencies, dear guests, good evening. Dobrý večer, milí priatelia. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to see so many of you today here uh, in, in this hall to commemorate 100 years anniversary of foundation of Czechoslovakia. 100 years ago, representatives of Czechs and Slovaks tirelessly communicated to the leaders in Paris, Washington, London, a desire for independence of our two nations. Tomáš Garik Masaryk, Milan Rastislav Štefánik, Eduard Beneš, to name just the most prominent ones. They all played a major role in winning the support of world, world powers and recognition, recognition for the new state, Czechoslovak Republic declared on 28th of October, 1918. Czechoslovakia, was established on the ashes of World War I, when many nations were seeking a new place on the political map of Europe. Slovaks and Czechs had lived alongside each other for centuries and, perhaps, just waited for the right moment to come. As you all know, good friends are hard to find. But somehow, luckily for us, 
we wisely joined our forces, Slovaks and Czechs, and teamed up to establish a common homeland. We worked together for 75 years through difficult and tragic times of the 20th century. Czechoslovakia achieved many successes, but also severely suffered more than half of its existence under a totalitarian regime. Now, many of you would ask a question, why would you celebrate this centenary when you split? Our answer would be simple. We have remained friends. We have remained friends after the Velvet divorce in 1992. True, closest friends in the turbulent world of global politics. We are proud that once we have decided to go our own ways, the split of common state was done in civilized manner, peacefully, and I dare to say, friendly. Today, today our cooperation on all levels is simply excellent. People-to-people -people links are a key part of our relationship, based on family ties, business partnerships, and true friendships. Tonight, we are standing here together with Czech Ambassador Jankara as super colleagues and friends, proud of Czechoslovakia, our former common homeland, and proud of the Slovak Republic and Czech Republic. Two states respecting each other, two, two states supporting each other, and two states inspiring each other. Mila Slovenki, Slováci, Mila Češky, Česi, Dovolte, aby som vás srdečne privítal a pozdravil pri príležitosti nášho sviatku. Viacerí ste sa narodili v Československu, tak ako ja, ale sú samozrejme medzi vami aj tí, ktorí sa už narodili v samostatnom Slovensku alebo v samostatnej Českej republike, možno aj tu na Bošvajčiarsku. Bez ohľadu na to, myslím, že všetci môžeme byť hrdí na Československo ako našu bývalú spoločnú vlast, ale aj na naše obe krajiny súčasnosti. A môžeme byť hrdí, že nás ako národy spája viac ako ktorékoľvek iné dva národy vo svete. To, že sme tu dnes spolu, je toho najlepším dôkazom. Ladies and gentlemen, milí priatelia, on my behalf and on behalf of my colleague, Ambassador Peter Brňo, permanent representative of Slovakia to WTO, I wish you a pleasant evening and express our sincerest gratitude to all who helped to prepare this very special and memorable event. Prajem všetkým príjemný večer, hezky večer všem. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ambassador. I now have the honor to invite Ambassador Kara to take the floor. Thank you, Omar. Dear Director General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dámy a pánové, milí kréne, dobrý večer, bonsoir, good evening. I would like to start by thanking the Director General Francis Gurry for having us here and for all the support we have got from the WIPO in preparation of this event. Great thanks for excellent cooperation also to my Slovak colleague and friend, Ambassador Juraj Podhorsky, to our compatriots in Geneva and around, led by Mr. Jaroslav Havelka, Chairman of Beseda Slovan, and to the dedicated team led by my deputy Michal Kaplan. At about this time, we usually celebrate the National Day of the Czech Republic, which is October 28th. This year is different. We do it bigger, more festive, and most importantly, we do it together, Czechs and Slovaks. Ambassador Podhorsky eloquently explained why and walked you briefly through the turbulent history of these 100 years since Czechoslovakia was born. My role will be to make a nexus to Geneva environment. It is not very well known that Geneva played a quite significant role in laying foundations of Czechoslovakia. It was here that Thomas Masaryk, later the first president of Czechoslovakia, started 
1915 to elaborate and advocate the idea. And it was again here in October 1918 where finally met the exile and domestic political representations of Czechs and Slovaks to define key parameters of the new state. Czechoslovakia, again in Geneva, developed a strong tie to the League of Nations where it was seeking guarantees for its fragile existence and remained strongly committed to the League of Nations and multilateralism also in the following years when it became a functioning democratic state and a harbor of relative freedom and prosperity on the eve of the Second World War. As we know, Czechoslovakia also fell in 1938, 1939, but it is no surprise that after this rebirth in 1945, it was among the founding members of the United Nations. Many Czechs and Slovaks have been contributing in one or another way to Geneva's economy, to its culture and social life. After 1948, and especially after 1968, Geneva became a new home for hundreds of refugees from Czechoslovakia, who multiplied the already existing diaspora and helped to preserve and cultivate democratic spirit, as well as free culture of Czechs and Slovaks in times of totalitarian rule at home. I am glad that some of them are with us tonight, along with many Czechs and Slovaks which came to Geneva to work for the UN and other international institutions, or which just happened to live and work here, a place of their choice in Europe without barriers. Jsem velmi rád, že jsme tu v takovém velkém počtu a jako výraz vděčnosti Ženevě, ženevským institucím a všem našim přátelům, Čechům, Slovákům a dalším, s jménem organizátorů tohoto večera nabídnout pár ukázek společen, společného československého dědictví, hudbu a tanec, české pivo, slovenské víno a tradiční pokrmy. Přeji všem krásný večer. In conclusion, let me say that I am truly happy to see you in such numbers and as a token of gratitude to Geneva, Geneva institutions and to all our friends, Czech, Slovaks and others, and on behalf of all the organizers, I want to offer you now a few samples of our common Czechoslovak heritage, or as Francis Gary would put it, uh, intellectual property. Music and dance, Czech beer, Slovak wine, and some traditional food. Enjoy the evening. Krasný večer. Thank you, Ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, let us start the cultural part of the evening with a dance performance. I would like to invite on stage the folk ensemble Kamzik. The dancers performing tonight are mainly young Czechs and Slovaks, but also students from other countries. They have already performed in various parts of Switzerland. Tonight, they will present a traditional folk dance that originates from the region at the Czech and Slovak border. Please welcome the folk ensemble Kamzik.
muzyka. Ty moje koniczki, brane są wszystkie tri, nie mogli wytągnąć wineczko od nitry, nie mogli wytągnąć wineczko od nitry. Thank you for this beautiful traditional dance. And now I have the pleasure to invite on stage a group of young children and their teacher from the Czech School Without Borders. The school provides supplementary education in Czech language to more than 60 children in Geneva. The first song is a typical folk song called Ach Sinku Sinku which has been favored by the first Czechoslovak president, Masaryk. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to our very young performers.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, while my colleagues are setting the stage for our next performance, I would like to invite you to watch two promotional videos showing the beauty and cultural sites of the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic. I'll take it all in my stride and sing, sing, sing aloud while I'm walking. As long as you are on my arm, I'll always keep you safe from harm. I want you to be my bride and sing, sing, sing aloud while I'm walking. Well, we're gonna go somewhere. I've got a lot to love to give. I've got a kiss with your name on. Well, we're gonna go somewhere. I've got a lot to love to give. I've got a kiss.
After watching the videos promoting the Czech and Slovak culture, let us move to the main part of the evening. It is my honor to announce the concert by Martinu Strings Prague. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the ensemble. The ensemble consists of 12 string players accompanied by a flute and a piano. I have the pleasure in inviting Mr. Yaroslav Shonsky, the founder and artistic director of the ensemble, to introduce the ensemble and tonight's program. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear music friends, for us, it's not only the pleasure, but it's a great honor to be here tonight and to play for you. We know why we are here. And sometimes we don't think the Czechs and Slovaks didn't have it easy in the past. We couldn't even talk our own language in the past. But we always had our special language, and that was music. And in this language, we are going to talk to you tonight. And we know, and you know, the people who love classical music, people who do classical music, they are not terrorists. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> then we will finish our program with uh, our two national songs, Czech and Slovak songs. Uh, <clears throat> in the past, we play it always together. Now we have separated and we, you can hear Czech national song and Slovak national songs. I live now in Sweden and I have heard many times. People have took me aside and told, you know Yaroslav, Czech and Slovak national songs, they belong together. And we think that we Czechs and Slovaks, we belong together. They, Slovaks, they are our best brothers and sisters. Thank you that you have come here tonight. Oh, yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, maybe it's not in the program. This is Dvořák Srenár has five movements. So, it's probably, it's not written in the program, so it's good, I felt.